The element mercury is a toxic metal. The form of mercury found in fish is the organic form, called methylmercury. We care about the methylmercury in fish because it is a neurotoxin. That is a chemical that attacks brain cells and spinal cord tissue. Babies in the womb and infants are especially vulnerable to methylmercury toxicity because their brains and other aspects of their nervous system are still developing. Humans acquire methylmercury from fish consumption. Mothers can then transfer this methylmercury to a fetus through the placental cord and to an infant through breastfeeding. For this reason, the United States Food and Drug Administration advises women who are pregnant, thinking about becoming pregnant, or breastfeeding to avoid certain types of fish. More about these later. Hence, it is essential to understand the biogeochemical cycle of mercury that results in methylmercury accumulation in fish. We will now describe this cycle. Mercury is released into the atmosphere from industrial activities such as the burning of coal to generate electricity in power plants and from the use of mercury in gold mining activities in developing countries. It is also released naturally into the atmosphere through volcanic emissions. Once mercury is in the atmosphere, it is carried to aquatic ecosystems such as lakes, rivers, seas, and oceans, where it enters the water column finding its way to sediments. Sediments tend to be anoxic, and in this environment, anaerobic bacteria and archaea with a specific set of genes convert inorganic mercury to an organic form called methylmercury. Methylmercury is now released into the water column from sediments, where it enters aquatic food chains, making its way into fish. Now, this is a typical marine food chain. Methylmercury typically enters at the base of the food chain, which is occupied by phytoplankton and is easily transferred from a lower to a higher trophic level. Every time it is transferred to a higher trophic level, it biomagnifies. This means that methylmercury becomes more concentrated in tissue, such that by the time it gets to the top of the food chain, it can be present in levels that are toxic. Animals at the top of the food chain, such as sharks and swordfish, tend to have a very high concentration of methylmercury. For this reason, the United States Food and Drug Administration and the Environmental Protection Agency recommend that women who are pregnant or breastfeeding and children under the age of 11 avoid consumption of sharks, marlin, swordfish, big-eye tuna, mackerel king, orange raffi, and tilefish. For an in-depth analysis of fish with lower mercury content that are recommended for women who are pregnant and other vulnerable demographics, please click here. To learn of celebrities who have had mercury poisoning from excessive and prolonged consumption of the wrong kind of fish, please click here. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and return next week for more engaging videos. I post videos just like this every Thursday for environmental scientists and engineers. Thanks for watching. Cheers!